How's it going guys? Uh, before anyone asks, the keyboard I'm going to be using in this video is a Lubix Feng Shi. So I've been asked to make a video, I've been meaning to get this one out for a while, um, basically how I do my cross. I guess when people watch my solves they said that I do my cross pretty rad, so um, I'm just going to go right into it. So yeah, we're going to talk about combo crossing and kind of look ahead and everything. So what I'm doing right now is I see this edge and this one here because I can already, I've already kind of planned my cross. you got to know your color scheme, you got to be able to do it without even worrying about the centers. So you're gonna bring, you know, this down. You know that orange is gonna be on the left and uh, that kind of stuff. So on this one, the green's back here. When you put blue down here, green's gonna be on the opposite of it on the back side here. So you're just going to go ahead and basically put it in place as you go. So what I would do here is it's gonna be kind of hard to have my arms around the tripod. I'd bring this here, bring the green down, bring down my orange, my red, and then bring it forward and then you see how I, I brought those two pairs that I was first looking at together um, that's kind of what I would do and then you orient it you know and then um, I didn't really look ahead there but um, you have your next kind of pair ready and you can see your next one kind of here as you go and then you see your last pair over here on the on the edge here so like that and you get all four done really quickly. So when I'm inspecting my cross, what I'm looking for is kind of maybe one or two pairs so I can kind of watch them as I make the cross. Depending on sometimes how I do my cross, I'll lose track of one and I'll know where the other one is. And it's a good way to keep going without, um, you know, without uh, stopping. So let's see here. This one's kind of a tough one. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to purposely mess up green, even though it's already on the bottom, just so I can get orange and red kind of together. And um, actually, let's see if that's the best bet. Oh, let's just see how I would do this. Okay, so bring this down. So I'm trying to preserve this here. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Okay, so bring that down, bring this around, and then bring that over. And that would solve it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but I was trying to preserve this pair. But yeah, you're ready to go, and you have your next pair here. You could basically orient that without having to look at it. You have another pair here you can orient without looking at it. And then your last corner is obviously going to be here as you go because it's the only other corner and then that's that's four right there I don't know that one I didn't really explain it too well <laughs> this is really hard for me to do this so I haven't made this video in a long time but yeah you're basically looking for pairs or if you can try and pre preserve something it helps because you're shaving a ton of seconds off trying to make that first pair it's basically just like an insert um, so yeah let's see how I'm gonna do this okay so you got orange when I'm inspecting here you got orange and red in these two positions you know orange red and then I see these two corners here, you know, red, green, and uh, green, orange. So what I'm going to do first is, green's already done, so what I'm going to do, and when I saw that, I saw this just now, the other corner. So I'm kind of keeping track of all the edges, because these two are together. Uh, this one I don't see the edge for, but I'm assuming it's either this one, yeah, or this one over here, because of the orange. So you kind of get an idea without even planning something. And this is usually what I do if I just look in, you know, one spot, if I could see all four cross pieces. Um, in inspection, I don't even worry about the pairs too much, but you know, I usually do. Like this is probably the one that I'm gonna try and keep track of, because I'm gonna bring this down. The the, the corner is gonna be here. Um, so anyway, when you bring the green down, that's gonna be already done. Um, then you're gonna bring these two over. That's gonna orient orange and blue. And if you really wanted to, you could either turn it and then combo cross this side here, so that when you're solving red. And um, you can do blue at the same time, kind of like you bring it down, and then you have your kind of like your pair ready here. I don't know if you saw that when I did it. Um, or what you could do is, since it was here, is you can bring it down and then watch what it did to that pair that I had. You bring these two down, and then bring this blue over and back, and um, you see how it kind of orients it this way. That way, when you go to do it you can solve it this way instead and you can already keep track of your next pair here so you got this one here um, let's see here I can see that this is an edge and this isn't the edge so the last part it has to be is back here so instead of even looking 
you just do that. You know your co your color scheme, and um, yeah, you insert that one. You'll see this one here. So basically, you just kind of do that last pair. Yeah, I, I did that. I feel a little bit sloppy, but um, it, it, it kind of I'm trying to kind of explain how to keep track of the pair as I do the cross. I'm, I know I'm doing really horrible at it, but I hope you know in time watching this video or watching it multiple times as you practice, you kind of it'll kind of click like it did for me. You just go, oh, okay, I see how that pair kind of stick together or how he kept track of it. So instead of just trying to go for a cross very fast, I, I try and tend to plan, you know, what I'm going to do with the cross first. Like right here I have a, 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 a green, the red's going to be right here. So green and red are pretty much oriented um, where I need them to be because you bring this down here, red's going to be already down solved here. So now I know that if I bring red up, I mean down, it's going to bring this orange one up and then I'm going to have to do some some you know lowercase u I forgot what it's called uh, the rotation for the, this uh, layer here so let's go ahead and try that way and just see what happens this would have been one of the cases where I just go for it so um, green's gonna end up here I'm gonna put blue on the opposite here that's my plan and then orange should end up being uh, somewhere on the top because I'm gonna do red first so she'll bring the orange here when I bring down green it'll bring it up here so I'll try and do that slowly um, so if I was doing it here I would have brought the back here down which brings orange here and this is what I mean by combo crossing you're trying to combo your moves and move them all as you're doing one at a time so when you bring green down green and orange are now oriented and all I need to do is this UI slice that I was talking about or the um, lowercase UI so when you bring down blue orange is here and you can already keep track of your pairs here's the first pair um, corner and then edge so when you bring this down you got this orientation here just kind of get it ready and when I did that I saw this pair so when I'm bringing that up you kind of get that out of the way and then fix your cross and then you can go ahead and fix these two pairs and you kind of have these both at once ready to go so you got one pair two pair and I just saw this one here as I did it I didn't know a better case for that one three pair but I was getting a pair at the same time and then fourth pair so F2L becomes like four seconds or something or I don't know um, but that's how I usually do it I don't know how I, I do this but something goes on in my head where I, 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 co I constantly create pairs while making one pair it's just like I don't know if it's luck or if it's just something I'm doing subconsciously but I showed James and I tried to explain it to him um, how to do it but yeah it just happens when you make pairs as you go most of the time it's pretty lucky but feels as if I'm doing it myself so okay so this one's gonna be pretty simple reds here just getting ready to move move down here blues here which means when I bring down blue it'll bring green to the top and you can just orient it last so orange is here already ready to go but you don't want to go you don't want to bring orange down because you're messing up blue you want to go the opposite way you want to load um, blue into its center first bring that down brings the, the green up then bring down orange bring down red and then bring green down and you have this ready here ready, ready here to go Let's see um, I don't know I, I kind of saw that I forgot to explain that when I did it but I got this pair here also and then this one is it's not it's not a pair but you can kind of see the, the corners and the edges kind of getting ready over here so you do that come back I'm kind of bringing out this edge here these uh, this pair kind of getting it ready and then as you see I'm bringing these ones out and then these two are ready to go that was a U3, I should have done a U um, yeah and then you just bring the last one in so the cross in the F2L should be just like a complete step all you know like in its own and the key to getting it is to look ahead just find a couple key corners and edges and you've got to plan your clock your, your, clock, your uh, cross around that so you're not uh, messing up anything as you go because if you just try and go for the cross you'll probably end up messing up all the pairs or losing them as you as you go to solve it so hmm, how am I going to do this one so blue is in a good spot because orange can just come down but I don't really like how orange is in front it's kind of like a bad edge so I'm trying to think if I want to mess up blue or if I want to mess up orange because if you do the first step and do this U you can orient green and orange but it's not it's going to really do nothing for you here you will be able to bring um, orange down but this isn't going to be able to 
be moved unless you kind of do that bad Mephesto move where you bring it down. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it that way because I'm kind of liking the way I see these pairs and um, I'll explain them as I go. So, green's here. I'm going to orient that. I'm going to go ahead and bring that down. I'm going to bring this up, this orange forward and then down as I go and then I'm just going to orient this over and these are going to separate but I, I should still be able to keep that um, pair that I was looking at in the beginning so. so as you do that you got this pair right here um, the red and then when you bring that forward this one will say oriented and then you got this uh, this one ready here so kind of get that going bring that pair out I'm seeing these edges here this pair right here you gotta look ahead while you're doing one step you look at the next pair it's the only way you're gonna get fast and then see if you can see this one here is already getting ready um, this has to be the only edge that it's going to be without even looking at the rest of the cube because I can see on this side just just quick glancing I'm not really showing it too much in the video but um, it's green so it's not gonna match um, the last two colors which is gonna be um, red blue so you know that this is the edge I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's how you find your edges quick without even having to look. This is like solving with only three sides. So anyway, when I oriented this one, you orient this here. And you will have uh, this one here. And what I would do for this one is I would just bring it forward. Or, yeah, that's kind of hard to explain. You got this, um, I don't know, the, the corner facing up. and you, But you want to match kind of the reds on the opposites, make like a checker, so to speak. I don't know. And then... Um, Move that out of the way. It's kind of like a sexy move, but with the back left. And then the last one, you do the U. And it should be able to solve it all at once. Um, it's really confusing. It's really hard to explain. Okay, anyway, so this next one, let's see here. If you guys like the way I'm doing my cross, I'll, I'll definitely try and kind of give you guys some scrambles to work with. And then um, the notation for how I solved it so you guys can kind of see how everything happens. But right now, I'm just doing kind of like a little, you know, video. And if you guys like it, you guys can uh, let me know, and I'll, I'll try my best to do the next one. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I'm trying to think here. Well, what's going on through my head right here is I see this edge, and I see this green corner, which I'm hoping matches with this, but I wouldn't do this in, in solve. So I'm trying not to look at that. I already kind of cheated and found out that this is a, a pair here, but that's not what have what would have gone through my head in a, in a competition or something. I do see this corner and this orange here. So I'm kind of thinking that's a pair. We can kind of check. Nope. But those are the things you want to look for. So, hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, this one's going to be pretty simple. Green. No, because the red's going to get messed up. And that's actually fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you kind of, I'm going to kind of do this M slice or these kind of like two slices. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of cube weird, I guess. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient the the blue down so it's it's in line with the orange because orange and blue are together. So when I do that, that's oriented. But I can't move this out of the way because I'm going to mess up red. So I want to move red also out of the way. So that and that also um, fixes green. So what I would do here in a competition is um, I would bring this down, bring this over, just use my ring back here to move that where it needs to go. Use my thumb and then bring that back down. And as I did that. Um, this is one of those cases where I lost kind of this, kind of where I was going. Should have been on top. Okay. Well, if that wasn't the case, if I, if if I was to look over and I saw that this was yellow, I would assume that these are the last two that had to go with it. So I would check and orient it, and then you know kind of solve from there. I could see that these two. Oh, that's not the right one. Okay. So this one I saw it when I did it. It's gonna match. This is a blue red right here. So kind of get that one ready. This is kind of a bad F2L. Oh, I, I even did that one backwards. Yeah, anyway, the that cross was a pretty simple one, but I completely spaced um, looking at that F2L, so it's kind of a fail. <coughs> but yeah, you, I mean, you're able to save it quick in the solve, because once you get one pair going, you can see the rest of them. So, all right, let's do maybe a couple more. And then th that'll kind of give you the idea. I'll try and explain this in a lot better. Alright. Let's see here. Red and green will orient well if I was to bring this over and bring it down. But that kind of messes up my blue. Actually, I kind of like where that goes. So, in this case, we're going to mess up blue. 
I see a corner here, so I'm going to be on the lookout for that edge as we go. And yeah, so you look around, see the orange here. That's not going to be something we're going to be able to fix when we combo cross, so I'm just going to orient it later. So what I'm going to do here is bring this down, or bring this over. It's going to move blue back here, but when I do this, I can combo green and red together all at once. And since blue is opposite, I can pretty much go ahead and orient that. But I wouldn't turn the cube, I would have just done this, you know, like a back two or something. And then I see a, p a pair here that's been completely solved. So what I would do is I would, um, I don't want to mess it up, so I'm trying to think here. I would move it out of the way and then bring this orange over to where it needs to go and then shift the whole top section over. And then when I put it over here on the left side, it, it kind of frees up this space, also gives me like a buffer zone. And then you go ahead and bring it down. But since this is already already oriented, um, you pretty much got an extended cross going because you just immediately you know insert that and then you can see a pair here. Um, and you just look ahead as you go. I didn't see anything there, but I can see this is red, so that has to be the pair for this one, which it was. Um, I see the, the, the corner here, um, blue, orange, none of these edges back here or anything are it, and this is obviously it, so when you in, you insert that, you go ahead and pair this one up, and um, you insert it in the back, because you know your color scheme. If you're watching this video, you have to know your color scheme. This is the only way you're going to get even faster. you got to be able to solve the key without having to, you know, I don't know how to explain it, without having to, you know, go color by color like you would in the beginner beginner's method. Like right here, you'd be like, okay, do yellow, I mean orange first, and bring that down. Um, okay, match blue to blue, correct red, bring that down. Like this is the old style, you know. Oh, this is cool, we could save that. Um, bring that down, you know, and then solve it, extend and cross, or whatever. Um, do that one. We got these two together. Stuff like that. Um, you know, you're trying to avoid things like that. You're, what you're trying to do uh, instead is find out ways to to do things like this. Let's see here. I would have to flip this. Mm, yeah, I'd have to flip this. Let me do this really quick. Okay, what you're trying to do here is you're trying to build the cross together. You're trying to find moves that you can do in one trigger that will solve more than one piece of the cross. Like right here, just get blue and orange out of the way. And if I were to get this case, as you're bringing down red, you're going to be orienting green and putting that in. So it ends up being one motion. You got a pair um, when you were doing it. I saw this pair here. I see the blue. So you go for blue next. And then you see the red back here as you're going. And then you do that one. And that's F2L right there. Um, you know, then you do your OLL. Oh, well, I'm still doing two look here and there. <clears throat> I know most of them, but I get lazy trying that to algorithms. But yeah, so you're you're trying to combo cross it is what um, you know I've heard it being called before. And you're you're not trying to do the, the crosses one at a time. You got to kind of figure out how to do this um, together. Like this is a prime example right here. Orange is already oriented, but you're going to want to move that out of the way purposely deorient it so that way you can um, when you do this combo cross here it goes in the right spot because when I when I bring this red over and then bring the green down to push the red down so that the red and the green are oriented it's gonna move this orange and you want since red's gonna be here you want orange to be on the opposite in the back the opposite side of red so what, what I would do is I'd use my ring to push the orange to the back okay then I bring this over combo cross that and that got that gets three of them out of the way and then you see here um, I would kind of do that. This is just how I do it, but um, I would push this here and this here, so kind of like a double finger thing, you know. But um, yeah, or or however you want to do it, you know, this one first and that one. But either way, you're basically, you're pairing these as you go, and then you're bringing it down. And then I see this pair here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that back up. Um, I saw this pair here as I went, so this is gonna orient together. As I did that, I saw this pair here. And this is what look ahead's all about. So now, when I bring this down to orient this one, I saw my corner and this edge as it passed by. So here's the edge, last edge that I know that I need. And the corner right there just popped up. So, boom. You're going to insert this here like this. 
And then this one, um, let me see how I could do this. Basically just using the LBL method to do that one's a pretty quick one. And then that's F2L. Um, I don't know, I'm probably doing a really horrible job of explaining this, but I'm hoping you understand. If, I mean, if you're looking more for like the advanced cross stuff or, or um, combo crossing or just something intermediate, I don't even know if this would be considered advanced. I'm just, I'm just hoping you kind of get the idea. Okay, see, this one have been, this one would have really been fun in, in competition. When you get something like this, where pretty much almost all of them are oriented, don't even worry about the cross. The cross is going to be quick for you. So just look for pairs. Yeah, so I see a pair there. You got the other one. Okay, so here and here. So basically, what you're going to do is just solve this. When you bring red up, it's going to move it over, and that should bring these ones out. If that makes any sense, that should bring those pieces out. And when I move this over here, it's going to bring it over to the corner. You'll see what I mean. So orange is done. Green's right here. I would orient it this way because you want, you want, you know, you want the F2 and the 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 right to be really easy. You don't want it to kind of do like this and then back. I mean, I mean, if you're you're faster that way, then go ahead. But so I think it's this way. Yeah. So basically, I would bring this up first because I want this piece closer to this corner. So I'd, I'd do green. You know, fix that. Then I'd do U2 and that fixes red so then when I do this one here to, to um, do the blue I see this pair here hopefully this is a pair it is um, and instead of pushing it all the way down you know you got two pairs but they're kind of stuck in these zones here and you don't want that so as I'm bringing it down I would have used this one out of the way so it's back here getting ready to be used so that way when I insert this um, these are ready to be removed as I insert it so here is um, the pair. I would bring it down, insert this. This is going to take out the second pair that I saw. You can do the same thing if you want. And then um, have your, your third pair here, kind of oriented. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain how you orient it um, while you're doing the other pair. You just kind of look ahead and you do the last one. And then you got your old pillow. Um, there's probably more efficient, better ways and less key rotations to do these things, but I never learned them, but, um, you know, doing it this way is still way faster than any beginner method, and, um, you know, you get good at it, you, you could still get sub-20 solves, I, I'm, you know, every once in a while I'll still get, like, sub-15 or, or less, you know, on a solve when I'm cubing, so it's always, always really good. Okay, this one's a perfect example, I've wanting to, I wanted to show this before I got to anything. So what I would do here is I can combo cross this. This is kind of a weird case, hard to explain. Um, but these two are ready to be basically just brought down there in the right orientation. Don't even worry about the centers. Um, so yeah, I would bring this down here, move this over so that it would be ready to be moved down as a combo. You see how it's going to line it up? So I would bring this over, bring that down. That frees up this layer and this layer, but you can't do orange because it's going to mess up blue. So I would do blue, orange, red, green, and then do a U2. And as I'm doing this, I'm looking at all my options for, for pairs. Like right here is my first one. Or I could use this one because I don't see these edges here, 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 or here. So that means that the red and the blue is going to be back here. So you remove that, orient that. I see this pair as I'm doing this. And I see this corner. So... Let's see here. I'm kind of deciding if I wanted to do that corner or not. No, but I lost it. Okay, so yeah, I would have gone for this one anyway. Okay, I saw this pair as it passed by. In that quick rotation, and, and this is me going slow, when you're cubing fast, you want to be able to see this also, but I saw this pair here um, being made. So when I move this over, keep track of this because you're going to break it to insert this. And then this is the last pair. So you break that take this out or if you want you could do it so you and then that way when you bring this down you just go all the way around and it'll give you this option here I should probably keep it out of the um, there you go probably should have done that the whole video uh, anyway yeah so you bring this all the way down bring this out so that way it solves that as you did it and then you can do the last layer and it's pretty much solved let me see if I can find a better color here yeah it's better you can see those those colors so I, don't know, I hope that explained um, that one. I know it's really confusing. It's really hard to explain unless you can be up close and personal with the cube the way I've been teaching people. So Okay, so this one's kind of a 
an easy one also. Everything's going to be pretty much oriented the right way. So these two are pretty much together. They're already opposite. You want to keep that together. So what I do, I'm going to bring this red up and you want green to be on the right side of red. So this is going to become a red center because I'm attaching it to this. So, you know, imaginary red center now. So I would bring this up and then orange is right here. So this is pretty much just going to go, it's, it's going to solve the whole thing. Blue, green together and red, orange together. If you can see that. <clears throat> so when you bring these forward, that means these two centers are now become the imaginary red center and the imaginary orange center. And you kind of got these ones ready. So since this whole front half is all I need to work on, the orange can just be brought down. Bring the orange up because you want green on the right side of red. So you can see it's on the right side. So you're going to bring this and this down as you bring this down here. And as you do that, you look for pairs before you repair this. I only need to move it to the right once, but you can see this pair here right in front. Um, you can see this edge here that can go here. So you kind of look for that kind of thing. And see if you want to like maybe break this and lift this up first so you can kind of make a double pair. Um, but it doesn't look like I want to, so I would just finish it, finish the cross orientation like this, and then, um, you know, look at my pair options. So right here, I could just, I could orient the back, back left just by kind of doing that. And in doing so, I could see that these two are ready to be paired next. So it's paired. I gotta get used to doing the U. These two are paired. They're getting ready, I mean, and then I see my last pair. I thought this was it, but I see it's down here though because of the white shining in my front of my face first. So there's that. Um, that one. I did it. I did it the other way so I can get a plus instead of the um, um, the other way, so I can kind of orient how I want to get my uh, oh well. If I did the other way, it would have probably given me a little L. Anyway, yeah, there's some there's some pretty cool stuff that you could do with the cube. Um, <clears throat> that um, totally speeds up your cross, but the main the main factor is basically looking ahead as you're doing the cross. The cross doing the cross fast isn't necessarily you know like a step to get quicker. I mean I mean obviously doing a cross faster is gonna make you faster, but the main thing during inspection and cross is to get your pairs lined up and ready because the sooner you have those pairs kind of going, you're not gonna be sitting there searching for your first or second pair and you know inserting those. You, you, basically when you're doing your cross, try and combo them so you're, using, you're doing at least two of the colors of the cross in, in like one or two triggers or um, or less, you know, or, or all four crosses in, in one or two triggers if you can, or I should say two or three because I can never do it in one. But while you're doing that, you know, try and combo the cross, look for the, the pairs. So that way when you do the pairs, you can either get an extended cross so that one's already solved and you only have to do three and that's really fast. Or you could basically, you know, do them as you go. Like in, in this video, I was pretty much showing you what I saw as, as I was inserting one. But usually when I do try and solve or if I'm solving slow or I'm trying to get faster or I'm practicing, I will solve when, um, when I'm solving one pair, I'm looking for the second but as I'm putting it in my head how I'm gonna solve the second I'm looking for how I'm gonna pull the third so kind of kind of you know kind of go all the way up to the third pair just basically looking at the first and I know some people can do like all four and basically do all four in like two seconds it's ridiculous or less but yeah and then you just got old LPL on basically those are just algorithms that you practice to get quicker so yeah I'm gonna do one more just see if I can finalize everything and then uh, that'll be it so hopefully you guys like this video it's a totally long overdue video, but hopefully that helps explain everything. So, okay, orange is ready here, red's ready here, green's ready there. That's, this is going to be simple. Okay, so I see this pair here. I don't want to mess it up, so I'm going to go ahead and insert it here um, as I do the orange. Because when I bring, after I drop this down, it's, it's going to preserve this pair. When you bring red over here and then bring this down, it's going to bring green all the way over and then you solve green. So, let me see, this is exactly how I do this. So I bring this down, orange is here so I want this to be red now because it's the opposite. Bring that over and then blue is right here so you want green to go all the way over as you're solving this. So now green's opposite. Um, lucky me I got two pairs so as I orient that one I'm going to lift this pair out of the way. Now I got two pairs oriented in one go just in a cross. This is what I'm talking about. This is the advanced stuff that I was trying to tell you. So yeah, when you bring this back down to, to fix the orange, bring, you know, your cross together and then you basically just insert this um, in order. You don't want to insert the, the red green first because you're going to mess this one up. See, there goes the corner. So what you do is you could either, if without a rotation, I would have done this and then 
bring this one over. I see my next pair here. Boom, there's that one. Um, then this one's ready too. So depending on what I want to do first, I would, I would actually go for this one first because it's kind of like I'm going in order this way. Um, and it oriented this one a lot better. So without another rotation, you do the back one. And I don't know, if I was to do that in a solid, that would have been really fast. You do your OLL and then you got to peel off skip. And that would be like a 9 second, 8 second solid or something right there. So, I mean, it really helps to pay attention to um, look for your pairs as you're doing your cross. That one was a prime example because the cross was kind of set up. But because of the cross being set up, I kind of looked out for the pairs first. And then that allowed me to orient two of them in a solid state, you know, faster than I would. Doing the cross, uh, uh, you know, singly, you know, one color at a time, which would separate all the pairs. And you would basically have to do all the pairs one at a time. So you're trying to solve the cube essentially in the kind of like chunks, like two crosses or two crosses or these two or like sometimes three crosses at once and then you orient the last one and while you're orienting that one you're looking or pairing pairs up or looking for them and then you you know you finally orient the cross and then from there you just it's basically just like inserting you're like okay I know this one and I, I know this pair and I have this pair so insert 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 and then OLL PLL and that's how you're gonna pretty much break that sub 30 sub 20 mark you know the, the best way at least that's how I did um, and I know it's, it's, it's I, don't, I know this is going to sound super confusing to people who don't know this yet because if I was watching my own video right now, I'm, I'm pretty sure I would be completely lost. But just keep watching the video and keep practicing kind of what I'm trying to tell you, like especially just, you know, doing two crosses at once. Don't even solve the cube. Just mess it up. Practice the cross. Kind of go, okay, I kind of see how I do that. Mess it up again and just do the cross only. Just practice the cross only. And then when you do the combo and you get that going, then start focusing on okay I know how I'm gonna do this cross so before I even solve the cross I'm gonna look for pairs and then as I'm solving the cross see how I can orient the pair into a solve state or at least orient it where it'll be a simple case but make sure that in doing so you're not messing up the way the cross is done because or actually I guess it wouldn't matter because it, if say if you needed to orient a a pair a different way that'll make the pair easier to solve go that route don't make the cross easy on yourself kind of you know combo it but try you're using the cross to orient your pair first because it's faster to get a next pair than it is to do a cross fast uh, if that makes any sense at least for me so yeah you can sometimes change the way you do your cross while you're doing your pair or while you're trying to orient a pair case or a solved pair or something like that uh, anyway I hope that's not too confusing but that's how I do my cross that's how I solve my F2L um, that's how I've done it since forever ago I used to be able to do F2L in like 10 or 12 seconds way back when when pretty much everyone was just starting out and I seem to lag behind everyone because I still haven't decided to learn all my algorithms. I know most of them though. I'm missing like maybe like less than eight or less, probably six algorithms. But yeah, that's it. That's how I broke sub 20. That's my kind of intermediate slash advanced combo crossing and F2L and look ahead kind of all in one. So I hope that helps you kind of see better in your inspection and kind of gives you an idea on how to solve the cube in more chunks than steps so to speak and that'll make you guys a lot faster so just practice that keep practicing it let me know how you guys like it um, if it helps you guys to solve put a comment definitely like the video if you if you think that you like the tips that were given to you in the video and stuff like that and that'll definitely help me out and uh, like I said if you guys like the way I was kind of doing this or how I solved it I'll try and get some notated scrambles and, and solves and all that kind of stuff so that way you guys can kind of walk through the video with me and uh, I'll explain it, but you know, I'll make that video if you guys uh, really like the way this one went. I guess that's it. Don't know what else to say. It's probably a really long video, so have a good one, guys.